Where did your money come from? What symbols hide in plain sight on the $1 bill? Find out as we look at strange secrets in U.S. money. This video is brought to you by the Joe Jillian's channel. Check out more of our content at the end of this video. Number 10. Where's George? Dollar bills see such circulation that transactions often take them across the United States and beyond. The journey of American currency is long and full of twists and turns, leading to a curiosity in the public as to where that money's been and where it's at. A curiosity that has since been quenched thanks to website wheresgeorge.com. By visiting Where's George, users can input their bill's serial number to find out where it's been and report their own location to update information. This fun feature is reserved just for $1 bills, though, and not every bill in circulation has been reported. Number 9. Peace and Conflict Many symbols appear on the $1 bill, but few as poetic as the contents filling the eagle's talons on the back right side of the banknote. The pose features the national bird clutching a bundle of arrows and an olive branch in its grip, one in each claw. This image, the Great Seal of the United States, dates back to 1782 and can be seen today on a number of official documents, such as passports and embassy placards. It was originally used in currency on the backs of coins, but after 1935, it began to see use on the dollar bill. The significance of the items in its grip are that they are symbolic of military aggression and diplomatic negotiation, two powers at odds with one another, and yet wielded by the same entity. The eagle, in this instance, symbolizes Congress and its power to implement both. Number 8. Lucky 13 The number 13 typically has a negative connotation due to its superstitious relation to bad luck. Beliefs revolving around the unlucky numeral run so deep that hotels often avoid owning a 13th floor or even a room 13. So it might seem worrisome when examining a $1 bill as this number appears consistently on the banknote in a variety of ways. You can find it all over the Great Seal with olive branch leaves, olive branch fruits, arrows, bars on the shield, and stars over the eagle all totaling 13. The iconic pyramid on the back of the bill has 13 steps and even two Latin phrases on the dollar e pluribus unum and annuit corptis both feature 13 letters. This doesn't mean your $1 bills are cursed, though, as the reason for this number stretches back to the very beginning of United States, when the country began as 13 colonies. Number 7 folded messages. Symbols decorate U.S. currency entirely, with emblems of patriotism and historical significance making their way onto every inch of a bill's surface. But some concealed messages require a bit more thinking outside the box. Examining the various bills found in America reveals a somewhat wide array of phrases and words featured on the money. One artist has turned this opportunity into a form of expression, contorting, twisting, and folding bills to create nearly whatever phrase he wants. Iconic lines like nothing to fear, resistance is futile, and don't tread on me make up Dan Tague's catalog. As an artist, Tag draws on current events, politics, famous slogans, and popular music for inspiration to craft messages that reflect America from the very fuel that drives it. His work can be found on public display at exhibitions and collections around the world, as well as online for purchase. But just because he's an expert at the technique doesn't mean you can't try this yourself at home. With all the possibilities, you may even find a new folded phrase entirely. Number 6. Roman Numerals and Latin Language While much of American history has been told through the portrayal of English-speaking forefathers, much of the symbolism found on government property, like architecture, documents, seals, and elsewhere, features Latin Latin phrases and Roman numbering. For example, under the unfinished pyramid on the back of the dollar bill are the Roman numerals MDCCLXXVI, which translate to 1776, the birth date of America. The Latin mottos adorning the bill represent the righteousness and faithful path of the United States since its inception. The pyramid features two statements, Anuit Coptis and Novus Ordo Seclorum, which roughly translate to God has favored our undertaking and a new world order, respectively. Then, along the eagle's banner in the Great Seal, the phrase E Pluribus Unum speaks to the unity of the country with the statement, Out of many, one. As a republic, many of the nation's principles derive from the Roman Republic, and as such, the use of Latin and Roman symbols pays homage to America's predecessors, along with giving the presentation a bit more prestige. 
Number five, Federal Reserve. America's money is produced in the Federal Reserve, which is America's central banking system. Individual Federal Reserve banks can be found across the country, with 12 in total occupying distinct regions of the nation. These federal banks reside in the following cities from east to west coast, Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Richmond, Atlanta, Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis, Kansas City, Dallas, and San Francisco. These locations collectively print billions of notes a year, and perhaps surprisingly, each one is printed with a specific indicator of their origin city. That means no matter which of the individual notes you might receive, you'll always be able to figure out the bank that produced it, and it's as simple as knowing your ABCs. Lettered A1 through L12, these designations can be found on the face of each bill. Whether $1 or $100, they each correspond to one of the Federal Reserve Banks, beginning from the East Coast heading West. Number four. Faces and forms. Some of the secrecy revolving around the design of U.S. money comes from the shapes, forms, and oddities seen when deeply scrutinizing the bill's surface. Each bill contains a net like pattern tracing the outside of the bill in a three dimensional form, and the intricacies of its structure have led many to find hidden forms in plain sight. One such symbol is the Maltese Cross, an emblem associated with the chivalric order of the Knights of Malta. It appears behind the word number one one in the top left corner of the back of a single bill. This is often tossed up to coincidence by most, but the reach of the organization is still somewhat widespread today, albeit in the name of public service and religious promotion. Another form seen in the dollar's design is the Hindu goddess Shiva. Near the bottom left side of the back of the bill is a form that vaguely resembles the destroyer deity with her traditional hair in a bun, but classically, the United States has shown little influence and connection with the Eastern religion, so this one is most likely pure chance. One other popular visual spotted on the $1 bill is what appears to be a face in the stones of the pyramid. The supposed eyes, mouth, and jawline of the form have caught on with internet users for its strange similarity to the popular forever alone meme. Number three, incomplete pyramid. On the reverse side of the dollar bill is the other half of the great seal of the United States in the form of the iconic unfinished pyramid. It began to see use with the adoption of the great seal in 1782 due to the popularity of pendant seals at the time, all of which had two sides. Stated initially as a symbol of America's assumed strength and duration, this imagery was plainly inspired by the great pyramids of Egypt. The forefathers of the American Revolution saw themselves as architects of sort, having laid the foundation for the construction of a great nation. Hence the pyramid left unfinished. But atop this emblematic structure is something in place of a pointed top, the Eye of Providence. Closely tied to the secret society known as the Freemasons, the Eye of Providence is a Christian depiction of the Eye of God, but it has deeper meaning when combined with the masonry belief that the Creator is the great architect of the universe. Add this with the unfinished pyramid and other architectural metaphors within the symbol, and it's easy to see why many take this as a clue of the Freemasons' involvement in the origin of the United States. Number two, enigmatic symbol. Much of the layered symbolism on U.S. currency is deep, meaningful, and can be easily traced back to its origin with a little historical knowledge and cryptology know-how. But one strange symbol that has shown up on the $1 bill isn't quite as clear-cut as the rest. In the top right corner of the $1 bill, near the top left corner of the crest surrounding the number one, is a small form unnoticeable on first glance. But with the help of a magnifying glass, you can get a clearer picture of what appears to be either a spider or an owl, according to most. An owl could make sense to some, as those who've already bought into the Freemasonry relation would recognize the secret society's commonly used bestial icon. Others, though, see the spider, especially given how much of the design around the edge of the dollar bills bears a resemblance to webbing. But one other hypothesis about this symbol sounds a bit more believable. The web-like design creates little peaks, as can be seen in a couple of places at the bottom of the $1 bill. The very tip of one of these pinnacles is all that sticks out from behind the crest surrounding the number one, thus creating the illusion of a small bird or insect peeking over the ledge. Number one, security features. 
to safeguard against counterfeiting. The federal government has equipped individual bills with some security measures that can be easily identified. While most denominations have some means of validating authenticity, the $100 bill has the most protection. It has features such as a 3D ribbon woven into the paper from front to back, a portrait watermark of Benjamin Franklin, color shifting ink, raised print lettering, and a security thread that runs through the bill that turns visibly pink in UV light. Comparatively, the $1 bill has nearly zero security measures, though the cost to make a counterfeit would in most cases outweigh its worth. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and then check out this other video over on the Joe Gillian's channel. Thanks for watching.